Well, co cocktail culture is, is such a, <laughs> so deeply intertwined with the American story. I mean, the cocktail was defined in 1806 for the first time. Strong spirits of any kind, sugar, water, and bitters, also known as a bitter slang. And you know, it became the way, it became our beverage tradition, the way wine and cognac and Armagnac were in France and beer in Germany and, and sake and all those things, you know, shochu. Cocktails became the American gift to the world of beverage and it was quickly exported and became a worldwide phenomenon, you know. But it, in, in another way, it was a perfect, almost perfect, uh, Metaphor. I mean, it was a it was it was a composite drink made up of spirits that came from other places, you know, made up by people who came from other places. So it was like almost in a glass the New York experience. I mean, the, the American experience. People came from many different cultures, bringing their beverage traditions with them, and we put them all together in a cocktail glass, you know, and called it the cocktail. And it was significant, you know. To the American experience, we we did all of our celebrating and mourning and living in the bars where these things were made, and you know, with these kinds of beverages, they were our. So I think yes, they were significant, and 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 you know, it's always been an oral tradition. The bartenders are the storytellers in America. They carry on from generation to generation significant stories about significant people in their community who came to that bar before them, or another bar, or a bar where they used to work, or a bar 100 years ago. And the stories take on a mythological, almost, you know, uh, feeling. And, and that's why I think it's important, you know. <laughs>